It may have been step one of Middlesbrough's climb back to the Premiership, but not on the pitch. Charlton taking the lead through Steve Jones as early as the eighth minute. And it was Charlton who continued to dominate proceedings. Twelve minutes later, John Robinson producing a wicked shot which brought the best out of keeper Ben Roberts. His opposite number, Andy Patterson, didn't have a save to make before the break. While the visitors were unlucky not to make it two on 37 minutes, Keith Jones just wide of the post. Burrow doubled their work rate in the second half, at last giving the Charlton defence something to do, but Paul Merson's hopes of a goal on his debut were wide of the target. Charlton's rearguard action finally failed in the 82nd minute, the unlikely figure of Italian defender Gianluca Festa sending the 30,000 crowd into rapture. And a result which had looked impossible at half-time was sealed in the dying moments. Fabrizio Ravanelli paying back some of his pay packet and leaving Charlton to feel justifiably sorry for themselves. Got the backside for the lads already if they thought that they were going to play a nice pretty football in, in this division without having to work at it. Well, the, they got their answer in the first 45 minutes there. Uh, because every other team who we play this year will be coming to, to the Riverside and uh, they'll be enjoy the challenge of playing against uh, the high profile players that we've got and they're going to make it hard work for us. So they may as well get that into the minds now that it's going to be hard work and uh, nothing will come easy this season. We've played well today and I think Brian Robson and the 20 odd fans near will be the first, first ones to admit that. Unfortunately we've come off with nothing and you know I've just said to him in there I don't want that tag again, you know, we done it, in, we done it last year where we played a lot of football, uh, secured a few friends, but no points, and uh, that's exactly what's happened today.